On grassroots this week, under the influence of Dowie Morris, Winnington Park as they prepare for their Pilkington Cup clash against Wasps. The best of the action from last weekend's games in the Five Nations Championship. There's news of an appeal to help rugby in Western Samoa. The opening of a rugby entertainment centre for all the family at headquarters. As New South Wales start their tour to the British Isles, is it farewell to David Campisi? If you think the task of Winnington Park is hard enough in having to beat League One Wasps, then spare a thought for their most famous former player. He has to sell vodka to the Russians. But more locally, it brings a whole new meaning to team spirit. This is obviously the Black Death stuff that we uh, reproduce, and uh, we don't give it to them after they play, we give it to them before. And uh, I think that's, that's what they'll be doing Saturday, and uh, we're looking forward to a good win. Dowie Morris has gone back to his old stomping ground in Northwich to help coach the League 5 North outfit. But might he come out of retirement to play against top flight opposition in the fifth round of the Pilkington Cup? Come the Saturday, are we going to see you running out for Winnington Park? I think probably tight head prop at the moment if I keep putting all this weight on. But um, no, I think it's a little bit of tongue in cheek from Mr. Palin, our, uh, our president, who just got a bit of publicity. Dowie isn't the only Morris associated with Winnington Park. This one belongs to the Farr brothers, Matt and John, one of eight sets of brothers who've brought that special understanding to the first team in recent years. It helps a lot with uh, you know, knowing what each other are going to do and how each other play, being together a lot. Uh, it's helped us quite a lot in that respect. And this season, his brother gained divisional honours for the Midlands thanks to the advice of a certain D. Morris. He's given me a few pointers tactically and around the pitch, certain areas where I need to do certain things, just uh, little bits because I feel that I've already developed my game quite well, but uh, kicking was always a particularly weak game of uh, my, weak part of my game and I'm sure if you ask the lads they'll still say that, but uh, Dowie has helped me quite a lot. Wasps of course have their own potent pairing of the Hopley brothers, who as Saracens will confirm can combine to great effect. So if Winnington Park are to withstand the inevitable League One onslaught, their defence will have to be as vigilant and stout as that of their club chairman. No one's going to pinch my new gooseberry trees. Roop Cragg is a champion gooseberry grower and has been with the club for over 40 truly amateur years. Our boys still have to pay a certain amount to play, which is probably ridiculed by some of the top clubs in the land. But you see, they, they have got so much backing uh, in, in our part of Cheshire. Trying to get finance is, is incredible. I mean, Northwich is a soccer-orientated town, isn't it? And they haven't woken up yet the, the fact that they've got a damn good rugby side in the town. Winnington Park have just voted to stay amateur, even in this modern professional era. They rely on new talents coming through the thriving junior section, with everyone more used to playing for the Maryland Trophy than the Pilkington Cup. Davenport, they're now called Stockport, had this uh, picture of Marilyn, uh, the nude calendar. Very risky in those days, nothing now of course on, on that. And uh, we nicked it from them. They came the following match and nicked it back from us and stuck it to their ceiling in the clubhouse. So on our next visit to them, we of course took a piece of the ceiling out and brought it back to Winnington and we made it into a trophy to be played for. It was a bit more civilised doing that. So Wasps beware. Willington are on a roll and are confident despite the four leagues difference between the sides and despite being without their Morris. Go on, try it. No. no. That's too spot. <laughs> what would you rather see? Winnington beating Wasps or you winning both of the champion Gooseberry classes? Ah, oh, well, that's a tricky one, but uh, no, the, the club, the club, uh, definitely, yes. My heart and soul is in Winnington. Unless, perhaps, he produces a gooseberry as big as a rugby ball. So, let's take a closer look at the Pilkington Cup ties in the fifth round this weekend. Bedford at home to Bristol. It's Leeds versus London Irish. The two big challenges to play host to the first division giants of rugby wasps and to make sure that this pitch doesn't succumb to the frost overnight. Now then, of course, it's the Pilkington Cup and uh, they'll be making sure that the game goes ahead with something like 2,500 people due here in a sellout crowd. An exciting time for this little club 
and for the players who hope to cause a cup upset. Angela Powers reports. Whether he's out on the beat in Warrington or charging through the pack on a rugby pitch, the six foot seven inch frame of Paul Rees is hard to miss. Yeah, you turn right there, it's about 200 yards down there on your right hand side just before. His height's an advantage, whether in his uniform or rugby kit, but it's not the only thing the two roles have in common. Fitness for the, for the job is quite important. I, I train obviously down at the club and I do a lot of training myself in my free time. Um, but the people at the, at the police station, people in the job are superb. Uh, they give all, all the time off. There'll be a few of the lads down uh, watching the game on Saturday. What his colleagues will see is history in the making. It's the first time Winnington Park have made it through to the fifth round of the Pilkington Cup. And if they beat Wasps on Saturday, they'll be through to the quarter-finals. Everybody in the town's buzzing. Everybody. I mean, I teach and the kids are on to me all the time about it. So, yeah, it's, it's a big game. It's a big game for us. Everybody's got a name! Come on, talk! Yep. One name familiar to rugby fans is Dowie Morris, the former Oral player. He's returned to Winnington Park as a coach after retiring from international rugby. He's hoping to calm a few nerves. It's special for, uh, for Winnington Park. It's obviously special for me in, in a certain way. Uh, I just hope the lads can perform uh, to the best of their ability on Saturday because obviously they're going to be very nervous. And all I'll try to do is actually calm them down a bit uh, before they go out because I think they'll be up ready to 